Bonjour Cancer and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Claude here. Today I'm going to be doing your tarot reading for the next three months. So this is looking at the energy longer term for October, November, December time. So I'm going to be taking out a, um, an energy for each of the month from my oracle deck and then I will clarify with the tarot. So I hope you are all doing fantastically well and that you've enjoyed your September month so far. And I ask that, as always, you please remember those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody, so take what applies and just discard the rest. So what do we have for my Cancer Aquarius, please? What are the energies for the month of October? Oops, November <laughs> and December. Sorry, too many cards. Can't take too many cards. I think that's about right. Okay, so we begin with card 51, Milk and Honey, beautiful card to get. You also have Poised, card 48, and Y, card 31. Okay, so in October, Milk and Honey, this is a beautiful card of prosperity and abundance, of sweet things literally coming to you. Sorry, I've moved my tripod. Let me redress it. Sweet things coming your way. Good time, pleasant times with people. Um, just generally happy times, you know, blue skies. Um, and it could be to do with time that you spend with your family or with, with friends. But generally speaking, you feel that life is sweet, which is obviously a beautiful energy to have in October. Then in November, you've got poised. Now, poised is that being ready for something, being confident and glowing. You can tell by the body language on the card, she's completely open to any opportunity that comes her way. She's very confident, um, looking positively towards the future. It, it's a beautiful card of energy, um, being ready um, to take on whatever. So that's really nice. And having the skills to do so too. And in December, you have the card of why. Now, this is questioning either why you are doing something or why things are happening the way they are or why you are at this junction in your life. I see December time being a time of reflection for you and, and questioning. For some of you, it may even be like a spiritual awakening, you know, asking very, very deep questions, questioning why. So, let's see what the tarot has to say about that. So, can you clarify those messages, please? For my cancer querents. Okay, so we have the King of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Judgment card, big energy, major arcana here. The Star, another major arcana, big energy. And finally, the Emperor, another major arcana, okay. This is big energies for you. Bottom of the deck, which is the energy around you, you know, playing behind the curtains that you're not aware of, you've got the Two of Swords. Okay, so this is a period of decision for you. Um, the Two of Swords, twos represents duality, generally speaking, but also crossroads and having to make a decision. Swords is the air element, so it represents the mental realm. So anything to do with thoughts and knowledge or truths and communication. The Two of Swords is a period of indecisiveness, needing to make a decision but not making it because um, we may be protecting ourselves because we've been hurt before, so that could be one of the reasons, which is completely understandable. No judgment there, believe me. Or it could be because um, you are not ready yet. 
um, which obviously to me links really nicely with this card of, of why, you know, questioning the purpose of things, the purpose of things that have happened, or the purpose, um, questioning your purpose in life, or why things are happening the way they are. So, and the Two of Swords also talks sometimes about feeling like we do not have all of the information that we need in order to move forward. Um, we feel we need more time. So that's this energy around you. So if you feel undecided at any point, you, you'll know why it's coming from this. Um, oh, I can't put it here, the light is right on it. Let me move it here. So that's your Two of Swords. So under Milk and Honey, you have the King of Wands and Judgment. So the Kings represents mastery, knowledge and expertise in their suits. Wands is fire energy, so this is passion, desire, willpower, um, you know, fire energy. So the King of Wands is somebody who's a go-getter, action taker, um, but who has the benefit of the experience of being a king, as opposed to the Knight of Wands, who just goes for it without thinking about consequences. This is someone who will take calculated risks, um, as opposed to just going for it, but they will take action nonetheless. Um, they are very good leaders, um, very charismatic, people are attracted to them. And we're talking about the energy of the card here, because there are no genders attached to a general reading. So the King of Wands is here, um, and obviously the King of Wands is someone who would obviously um, appreciate, you know, the abundance, the good moments in life, because as I said, they're, they're passionate people, so they're, they're people who enjoy this kind of, of, um, of things, you know, they're very good at living life to the fullest, is what I'm trying to say, which is what milk and honey are, you know, taking pleasure into everything that life has to offer. This is supported by the Judgment card, now this is a major karma card, we have two in the tarot, there's um, Justice and, and Judgment. Now, judgment um, may be an enlightenment card, as in, you know, you wake up from a, your state of being and you realize that there is more to it, you aspire to more. Um, so that could be a way of looking at things, you know, from the simple pleasures in life, realizing your worth and what you could achieve. And in this um, case, this is you, the King of Wands, you know, and embodying this energy. Uh, the judgment can also be a report card, you know, looking at the situation or relationship and drawing conclusions and, you know, from that point on onwards, um, accessing uh, knowledge and wisdom, which is representing by this owl right here. So this could also be you um, judging a relationship with this king of wands. Now this could be a boss, this could be a business partner, this could be your romantic partner, this could be a dear friend whatever the case may be. I'm not getting the vibes really of a friend. Um, if we are looking at the cards in this manner, I would think romantic relationship or um, something to do with work. Now, if this is you embodying the uh, qualities of the King of Wands, you know, and realizing that you, you deserve better than what you currently have and you know, this is like a wake-up call for you to, to do more with your life, is, is what I'm hearing. To um, do something more than having a simple life, which is the strongest message I'm getting, if I'm honest. Uh, from this, which obviously shakes your world, because this is a major arcana, so it's a big energy on your life path. It's also your spirit team intervening, guiding you on the right path and saying, hey, wake up, uh, you could be doing so much more you move to the uh, energy of being poised, of being ready to open up to any opportunities um, and having that confidence, you know, to do so, to open up. And you have the Seven of Cups here with the star. Seven is, generally speaking, a number that talks about self-evaluation, self-analysis. Once you've done that, um, it gives you the uh, confidence to move forward. And cups is to do with feelings and emotions. This is your element, water element. So the Seven of Cups talks about having opportunities, many opportunities opening up and looking, assessing which one's going to bring you the most emotional fulfillment. You know, which one will bring you the most happiness, literally. Now, sometimes it may come with a little bit of overwhelm because when we have plenty of opportunities, when we awaken to the fact that we have plenty of opportunities, um, it, it can be overwhelming and sometimes it can paralyze us, 
you know, thinking, oh my god, I, I don't know which way to go, what am I going to do? Um, but you have the star supporting it. Now, this is a beautiful card. I love the star energy because this is the card of, you know, hope. We wish upon the star. Um, this is saying your wish could come true. This is saying you are divinely guided. By that, I mean it could be God, Source, Spirit, your guardian angels, your ancestors, whoever you work with, saying, hey, we're nudging you in the right direction. You know, you're going to get an opportunity that's going to bring you a lot of happiness and sometimes with a star you can take it literally and this can mean that uh, you may get some kind of level of um, reputation now I'm not saying being famous like a Hollywood star although some of you may be <laughs> who knows but you know reputation um, you know a stellar reputation that is what I want to say um, within your trade if you're a trade person or um, within your work or your business, you know, establishing a brand, a brand name. And that could be that. It could be talking about that. But no matter how you look at things, this is really saying that these options are presenting themselves to you because these are meant for you. This is fated. And then in December, as I was saying, there's this energy of asking why. So you have the Nine of Wands and the Emperor. So the Nine of Wands, Nines is an uh, achievement in the Tarot, um, and Wands is fire energy, so passion, desire, the Emperor is also fire energy. I mean, you can even see it just by looking at the colouring, really, of the card. But the Nine of Wands talks about um, being exhausted, um, having given a lot of yourself, uh, having pursued something with, with you know, a, a, a lot of passion and um, having shown a lot of uh, willpower towards succeeding and having acquired some cuts and bruises along the line, you know, it could be uh, burnout at work, for instance. And I mean, December is, a, is often a month when people experience burnout because they're working hard. Some people are trying to do overtime to get more money so that they can buy the Christmas presents, you know, that kind of thing. So there may be, you may be feeling, you know, why am I putting all of this effort into the into this? You know, that's why the why question is here. And, um... <coughs> It's, sorry about the dogs. Hey, baby. I'm sorry. So the Nine of Wands, however, ultimately is a card of not giving up because you are one wand away from dropping your burden. This is saying, you know, the end is nearly here. Do not give up. Um, because obviously when we question why, we start having doubts. We question why we're doing it. And then the next step is, uh, should I stop? So this is really the card of saying do not, um, do not give up because you've got the emperor. Now the emperor is ruled by number four, which is strong foundation, stability, and the emperor is someone who represents. Um, well, you know, I'm really sorry about my dogs. Someone who represents um, authority. Um, <laughs> about that so I can't talk over there barking so this is um, somebody who represents authority um, could be a boss but I see it as a message of you taking control of your life um, and building an empire and that's why you should not um, drop your ones yet because you're not on the ten of ones yet I'm really sorry this is very disturbing um, so yes, the emperor basically conquers, the emperor uh, builds uh, empires. So this is saying if you stay true, because this is divinely guided with the star, because this, is, this has the potential to give you your wish fulfillment, um, this is saying to you just go for it, okay? Yes, okay, you can question why, but you will see... Um, why when you can you embody the qualities of the emperor where you just go for it you take control of it and you do not give up so i'm gonna close out your reading by taking a final message so can we have a final message for my querents please okay this card right here is talking to me 
So we have the lovers. So the lovers is another major energy, and this is a crossroad, a decision um, that has to be made from the heart space. So this is why you are in this um, energy of why, questioning why you're doing this, because you are going uh, towards a big crossroad, which is why also you've got this two of swords energy in the background, you know, with not making a decision, not being sure you've got all of the data in order to um, move forward. And the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. So an offer will come your way, um, which you will have to choose whether you go for or not, because the Knight of Cups comes with an offer that, generally speaking, holds the potential of making you very happy, of giving you emotional fulfillment. Um, it could be a love offer, but generally speaking, it's just to do with your emotional fulfillment. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. Um, if you found this message helpful, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for your time. And I really apologize about my dogs. Um, they were really badly behaved. I hope it didn't disturb you too much. I wish you a wonderful next few months and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.